It's 8.34 a.m. at Regent High School. If these students don't get to school in the next minute, they get detention and they know it. In the stream of students are Hope and Mohammed, both in year 11, gearing up for their GCSEs. They've been at the school for four years. In that time, the buildings have been transformed. And so has the school. It's like home. I'd say it's like home. Here it's really friendly. The teachers are quite friendly as well, but they're also serious on the, on the other side. They're, they challenge us to do what we're good at, but they also give us extension tasks, which are obviously giving us what our potential could be. I'm going to ask you to watch, and I'm going to ask Milika, watch your head. Oh. The ethnicities of everyone, like if you, you can go up to anyone and they'll probably be from somewhere else and like you can go up to them and they'll give you different stories of like why they're here or uh, how they came here or their family's backgrounds. Regent's award-winning building combines the old Victorian schoolhouse with expanses of light, colour and brand new facilities and its location in an area of rapid regeneration reaps unique educational rewards. Regent High School is the first school to become a member of the King's Cross Knowledge Quarter because, as you can see, it's cheek by jowl with the Francis Crick Institute here, with the British Library and with Central St Martins. And the resources from all those institutions are available to students at Regent High School. I think the reputation of the school, um, particularly in the local community, has really improved. I think, uh, you know, just from numbers of people coming to look around on open mornings. We have regularly have open mornings um, uh, during school time. Our open evenings last year, both for the sixth form and for the year seven intake, were really well attended. Um, and obviously many of those children have chosen to come here uh, in the end. And our, you know, our year seven um, classes are... are, are pretty much full. The brand new buildings are a, a real strength but what I say to people is don't be obsessed with our buildings and our classrooms, be obsessed with what goes on inside our classrooms. But the biggest thing for me was every time I visited it was the real sense of community that I experienced when I was with the staff and with the students. Regent High School has a uniform, tough discipline and pastoral support so Hope spends 20 minutes every morning with students of all ages. I think the whole point of it is really to get to know other year sevens and younger years so you can kind of help them like if there's anything that they need done in like classes or homework that they don't really understand you can always come to us and yeah we're like really their little buddies. Ten out of ten being Another unusual feature of the Regent yes. curriculum is individual coaching for students. Every week some pupils spend time with their coach discussing the best learning strategies to reach their goals. I think what I'd need is more like guidelines in what to revise. Most schools will use coaching um, in terms of developing their staff, um, but actually using it um, in regular conversations um, with students um, makes Regent High School um, quite quite unique in that way, actually. Sometimes I'm a bit skeptical skeptical about going to class. OK, you're a bit skeptical about going to class. Why might you be skeptical? Uh, because sometimes lessons can be fun, sometimes lessons not so fun. <laughs> Very diplomatically put, well done, Zach. Fantastic, sceptical, than you were. Um, it's exciting, it's challenging, um, but it's exciting. I came to Regent High School because I wanted to be part of um, a school community that was ambitious and um, was on an upward trajectory, so was getting better and better, and I've, I've, I've found that, that community here. The results this year were much improved, which was great. Um, we improved our headline figure, more than half the students in the, the last year 11 achieved five good GCSE passes and what isn't often reported is every student in year 13 who wanted a place at university got a place. As the King's Cross regeneration moves forward, a more integrated area is emerging and it's studded with institutions that offer specific learning opportunities for Regent students. Families at Regent High School will benefit from the connection with the Crick because they'll have the opportunity to come in and meet uh, the world-class researchers from a world-class scientific research institution. We've got a really exciting project coming up with Regent High School and with their Year 10 students. We're going to be investigating Beowulf, which is one of the most kind of ancient and precious documents in our collection. Young people will come to see Beowulf 
um, and then they'll be designing and developing in response to the collection item um, a series of computer games. We hope that the link with the Institute of Education supports the highest aspirations possible for students at Regent High School. We're in their back garden and we really want to help them be the best that they can. We're all from around this area, from the same borough, so we see each other in our day-to-day -day lives. As you make friends, you obviously go out, you diversify in all the other people. Yeah, and I think it's like a mini London in the school. Like, it kind of just represents what London is. Like, how, and it doesn't really matter like, who you are here, it's just people get along. For Hope and Mohammed, school equals opportunity. They know the staff here will do everything they can to make sure their potential is fulfilled.